Hello, welcome, I'm so happy you're here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how my man manifested me, because he did manifest me, and I'm gonna go into the details about how he did. Last week, I talked about how I manifested him, so I'll link that video up there. And what you're gonna see is that we manifested each other in very different ways, um, but it still worked out for both of us. Before I jump in, I do have a really exciting announcement for all of you. I am starting back up coaching again, and the way I'm gonna be doing coaching is through a Patreon group. So the Patreon link is directly below, and if you join this group, you will be invited to two group coaching sessions per month. But actually in this month, in July, I'm gonna do three coaching sessions. And how it's going to work is anyone who is in that group is going to be able to ask me questions and each group coaching session, they're each going to last two hours. Um, in each session, I'm going to call on people to come up and be in video with me and we're going to do a hot seat coaching session. So probably on every two hour group coaching session, there's going to be, I'd say, five to ten people that I'm going to coach directly. There will be a recording after the sessions and this is the way to be able to get coaching with me. As you probably know, I no longer offer one-on-one -on -one sessions, but through this Patreon group, I'm going to be able to work with you all directly. I'm really excited about it. So the link for the Patreon is directly below. All the details are there. It's really reasonably priced. It's a monthly subscription, so if you wanna be part of this group coaching experience, I would love to have you. I'm really excited to be working with you guys one-on-one. -on -one. I really love doing that. It just was too much for my schedule to have open, to have one-on-one -on -one sessions. It just filled up, it filled up too much um, time in my schedule, so this way I can really still work with all of you one-on-one. -on -one. You can have that, um, experience of me guiding you through your direct manifesting process and I'm really excited about it. So again, this month only in July, I am doing three sessions. The sessions are on Wednesday from 10 to noon Pacific time, which is 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern time. If you're not in those time zones, you'll have to do a little calculation to see what time these coaching sessions are, but they're every Wednesday or every other Wednesday, except for this month, I'm doing three sessions instead of two. And yeah, I'm excited for you guys to uh, join and to be able to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so let's jump in to this video. It's a fun video, again, for me to make. You all really liked hearing about how I manifested my man. I will share more details about that coming up, but he also manifested me. And so I want to share with you how he did this. So first of all, he wasn't coming at manifesting me through the mindset of I'm going to manifest my woman. It was, he wasn't using the word manifest. He was more claiming that he knew what he wanted in terms of a relationship. He knew what he wanted in terms of a woman. And what he did, essentially, I'll tell you details, but the gist of what he did was he internally decided that like he knew what type of woman he wanted to be with and he knew that he was not gonna settle for anything less. He was not gonna settle for anything less than the type of woman he wanted to be with. And I happen to be the type of woman he wanted to be with. So how did he do this? Well, first of all, his first steps before even thinking about, I, I know the type of woman I wanna be with and um, I'm not gonna settle for anything less. Before he even did that, he first had a period of time where he had some deep self-love work that he did. And again, these this is the language I use. I'm not sure he, well, he calls it self-love, um, but not everyone, I mean, these are just, we use language like self-love or manifest to describe these things that are happening, but not everyone uses the same langu language. So for him, the first thing that happened for him was he actually, um, I'd say, um, 
maybe six or nine months before he met me, he went through a period of time where he got sober, he cleaned up his life, and he decided that he was gonna focus on him, on, on doing what felt good to him. So this was a big self-love period of time for him. And essentially what he was doing was he started listening to himself more. He started making decisions that were healthy for him. Um, meaning like he does yoga all every day. He, um, I mean, he's always been kind of an active person, but he started making healthy life decisions. And he was doing that under the mindset of self-love. Like I'm going to take care of me. I'm going to become the best version of me. I'm going to do what's right for me. I'm going to make decisions that are good for me. So he had a period of time where he was really focused on becoming the best version of himself, okay? After that, he was getting a lot of attention from women. He had a lot of women coming around. You know, he's a gorgeous man. He's a good man. He's wonderful. He's centered. He's incredible. And so he had this experience where he was dating a lot of people, but internally he felt like, this didn't feel quite right. Even though he had all these like beautiful women around him, didn't feel quite right to him. So what he was doing is he's listening to like what his inner truth was. And from there, he was like, I don't want to date a lot of people. That's not what I want. I want my partner. I want my life partner. I want my woman. And what he knew about his woman was, one of the ways he would describe it is, she's a goddess. Now what that meant to him was, she's whole. She loves herself. She knows who she is. She's confident. He felt that there was a type of woman that he wanted and she had these qualities. And what he did was he made the decision that I'm not, I'm going to stop dating until that woman comes around. I don't care how long it takes, but I don't really want to have unfulfilling surface level relationships anymore. I want my woman. And when my woman comes around, then I'll, then I'll get into relationship. But other than that, it's just, I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to do my yoga. I'm going to, you know, live my life. I'm going to enjoy myself but I'm gonna wait for that type of woman. So what's different about the way he manifested and I did, I was like really consciously, I knew I was manifesting him. I like, because I teach manifesting, manifesting is a huge part of my life. For him, it was more like he was still manifesting, but he wasn't thinking about it as manifesting. And it was a little more general. He knew some qualities of me, like he knew I'd have dark hair. He, he thought I would have dark hair. And that was probably the maybe one of the only physical qualities. I mean, I'm sure he knew I would be he would feel attracted to me. He would feel like I was beautiful, things like this. But he chose some like really particular inner qualities like confidence. She's a goddess. She knows who she is. And he knew what that type of woman felt like. And that's what he chose. And so, and then he just stuck to his inner claiming of that vision. And he did not stray from that. He just felt like, until that woman comes around, I'm going to enjoy my life. Doesn't matter how long it takes, but that's, that's all I'm going to partner up with. That's the only type of woman I'm going to be with. So he stayed true to that inner vision. And actually what happened for him was really not that long after he chose that internally, like maybe weeks for him as well. It took me a couple weeks as well weeks after he chose that inner reality, I'm only going to be with a goddess. This is what she feels like. But then he kind of let it go. He didn't have any doubts that, that he would find a, that woman. He wasn't worried about it. He really just lived his own life in the way that he wanted to. And weeks after that, I showed up. And he describes when he saw me, it wasn't the first time he saw me, but it was, um, maybe the third time he saw me, he saw me from across the room. 
and he was looking at me and he was like, whoa, there she is. Now, he didn't necessarily, that was just the impulse, like the impulse of what he felt internally was, whoa, there she is. It wasn't necessarily, there's my wife, there's my girlfriend, there's my partner. He just felt a inner resonance of like, there she is. And it was more like, there's the goddess. And when we went out to lunch for the first time, um, he that, those were words he said to me, you're a goddess. And he said it like really clearly, like, I see you, I know who you are, you are a goddess. And what's also beautiful about that, of course, in my manifestation, I had written down that my man would say, you are a goddess. So it's the combination manifestation, right? That's his manifestation and my manifestation coming, you know, coming into fruition. We can say, you know, the way I look at it is it's all my manifestation, but there you have it. Like there's where it links up. I knew my man would see me as a goddess and he knew he'd see his woman as a goddess. So there it is. And yeah, that's how he did it. He, uh, he talks about how he was, or, you know, earlier on when we first started dating, he would talk about like, I can't believe how fast you came in. I can't believe like how quickly you showed up. I thought it was going to take years for me to find you or for you to come in. But the reason I came so fast is his inner intention was very pure and very clear. And he wasn't going to stray from that. He knew the type of woman he wanted to be with. He knew what she felt like. He knew she was a goddess. And when he felt me, he was like, that's her. That's the type of woman. And the more time we actually spent together, he was clear immediately. He's like, you're her. Let's do this. So this is how my man manifested me. He just held a general inner vision of the woman he was with. And I showed up, right? It's a fun story. I'm so happy to share more details of my life with you. And that's it for today. So if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, this new Patreon group is the way to do it. I do suggest signing up as soon as possible. My first group coaching session is going to be tomorrow. So there's probably going to be fewer people on the session tomorrow than any other of the sessions. So you're more likely to get called on and to work with me. So go ahead and sign up at the link below and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.